God bless you. What troubles you? How goes it, sir? Are you recovered? I am, for all the good it does. The boredom here. The only thing I have to read is the Bible, and the Hamish won't let anyone near me but the priest. Have you any idea the monotonous drivel that fella comes out with? This world is but a trial. Be repentant. He talks to me as if I'm about to breathe my last. Actually, he talks to me as if I were already dead. Listen, Henry, won't you come with me to the Rate Bars? I, I need a change of scene before moss starts growing on me. Why to the baths? Well, a hot bath does a man good. <laughs> it does. Which is why you can bath here any time you like. Have you ever seen Clara, the bathhouse wench? Henry, she's a beauty. If I didn't know better, I'd say I was in love with her. How much time do you want to spend there? I don't know yet, but at least a few days. Bathing in mud wraps during the day and in the evening. But in the evening, fun. What'd you say? Will you join me? But what about your wounds, sir? Well, I won't lie to you. It hurts like the devil. But I'd rather hobble along with a cane, howling in pain, than listen to a selection of the most boring passages from the Gospels for one more minute. Why not? When do you want to go? I shall go there right away. But wait until at least dusk to join me. I'll have company there. All right, I'll come and join you there. About our hunt. All right, all right, I admit it. Trying to kill a ball with a bow and arrow wasn't the best idea, man. <laughs> it was a nice shot, though. What do you need, sir? I need you to do me a favour, Henry. Of course, sir. Good. You'd never think it, but Zdena here is a demon at dice. She stripped me bare ass naked, and I couldn't even get a ribbon off her. So it didn't quite go as planned? Not quite, but maybe you can do better. Right then, you've got to beat Zdenner at dice. I refuse to be the only one here with his arse on the show. All right, why the hell not? How about a game of dice then? Are you sure? What would I do with two naked men here? <laughs> Let's see how good you are. I could do with a good soak too. Then strip off and hop in here. Uh, what, what with, with you, sir? That doesn't seem right. Don't worry, I've no interest in your hairy ass. Get in the tub, or I won't talk to you. Oh, all right then. That's more like it. Put your clothes in the trunk. Over. I don't want to tread on anything vital. All right, give me a moment and I'll roll it up again. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. That feels good. Yeah, don't take this personally, but I've never seen a man more in need of a wash. <laughs> I've known cow pats less fragrant. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
You certainly know how to have a good time. Here, drink. It's not terribly high quality, but it should do the job. I don't mind if I do. Give me that. That's the spirit. So this is how you recuperate from your injuries? Booze and wenches? Of course. Is there any other way? So, what news, Henry? You know about that nasty business at Neuhof I'm investigating. And what about it? I don't know what to make of it. I can't understand why men would act that way. You can't afford to cock it up, Henry. It's too important. Never mind about me. What about you? Have you recovered from our hunting adventure? I'm well enough, Henry. These baths are just the thing, and Zena here is very... healing. You know what, Henry? We really can't drink this local place. Clara! My most favourite is Barclay! But I must admit it, my dear. The wine you have here is pitiful. What's wrong with the bathhouse wine? I'd rather drink the bath water. You should go and get something better. Though, where? Ah! I know! In the cellars under the rat house, there's some excellent wine that Sir Hannish bought for us. And you want me to go there and get it now? I'd be indebted to you. And a grateful nobleman is the best ally you can have. All right, then. What kind of wine is it? A silver and red. In the cellar under the rat house. It's the last barrel at the end on the right hand side. Get a picture somewhere and take it with you. I'd like to ask you something about this wine. What is it? And this wine wouldn't be kept under lock and key by any chance? Um, yes, probably. But that won't stop a clever fella like you, will it? So I can just go there and take whatever I want? Yeah. No, not exactly. It would be best if no one saw you. Ah, I see. All right. I'd like to ask you something about this wine. What is it? Which wine is it you want? The Sylvan Red. It's the very last keg on the right at the back. You'll recognise it easily. It's the only one that's tapped. All right. All right, then. I'll bring it. Good, man. Are you serious? <laughs> Is someone there? You! What the hell are you fooling about here for? Jesus, look where you're going! that noise? I must 
could have imagined this. Hey, you! What are you doing here? Lord Capon sent me to get some wine for him. Lord Capon, eh? A likely story. If Sir Hans hadn't sent me, I wouldn't have this key, would I? Oh, all right. Do what you like. Go and live there for all I care. So, about that wine you sent me for. Well, have you got it? Of course. You really broke into the cellar at the rat house? I certainly did. I hope that wine's really worth the trouble I had. I don't believe it. You really broke into the cellar. You're insane. Nothing to it. I just used your key. My key? Why, you sly rogue, you. You're craftier than I thought. You can keep the key. They let me in there whenever I want anyway. Well, let's see if this wine is as good as you say. What are you waiting for? The parish priest's blessing? Come on then, get it down you. Ah, now that's what I call a real wine. Sylvan red. It's not like that donkey's piss they serve in this otherwise delightful establishment. You can tell from the first sip, can't you, Henry? Yeah, as you say, sir. Sylvan red. The taste is unmistakable. Flowers. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What kind of um, flowers do you like? Ah, uh, well, I like all kinds. I like dandelions, uh. sage, knotweed, and poppies. I really like poppies. <sighs> Henry, did you hear that? <laughs> what? The lady requests. D dandelions, mm -hmm. uh, uh, sage, mm -hmm. uh, cabbages. <laughs> <laughs> That's not right. No, no, not weed and puppies. <laughs> what? <laughs> you, you want me to go flower picking now? I know, I know. I'm putting you to work again. But if you do it, I'll give you. Grivensy Flobbin' Groschen. <laughs> that much? <laughs> All right. I'll go. <sighs> oh, no. Sage something, something else. Roses? Yeah, what would a bouquet be without roses? There's some in the upper castle garden. Up.
privacy is no for mine. It's good for my wench. Well, as you can see, I'm not your wench or anyone else's, so fuck off. What are you doing with my Clara, you cunt? Archie, stop that. He's just bathing here. Bathing here, is he? When all the wenches but you are whores. Archie! But are you whoring now, too? That's enough, Archibald! <laughs> Archibald, <laughs> you shut your mouth, I'm not done with you. No, I swear the gentleman hasn't touched me. Actually, that's quite true. Um, well, mostly. No, nothing happened, nothing. We'll talk about this later. First, I'm dealing with this bastard. I'd like to see you try, arson balls. <laughs> arson balls! <laughs> For the love of God, stop it, both of you! Fuck you now. <laughs> Hey! What do you think you're doing? <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's enough! Smash his fucking. Fuck, Henry! I nearly spewed my guts up! Smash his fuck! Fuck, Henry! Ah. I nearly spewed my guts up! That's enough! Stop it! Teach him! Son, back, back! Smash his fuck. What the hell got into you? Trying to drown a nobleman. Oh shit. Oh, fuck. <coughs> so, I, I didn't know. Get out of my sight. Go on before I remember I can have you hung. I apologize, your lordship. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Archie, wait. Oh. Whew. I nearly got drowned by arson balls. <laughs> 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 oh, that's the least relaxing bath I've ever had. Fuck, I feel like I've swallowed the Baltic. Oh, drinking will be the death of you. Damn right. Is there any wine left? Are you out of your fucking mind? You want to carry on? Of course. Well, don't tell me you don't fancy a drink after all that. And what will you do with them, Sir Hans? <laughs> what, with arson balls? I don't know. What do you think I should do with him? He was drunk and insane with jealousy. I'm sure he'll be sorry when he sobers up. But he tried to drown a nobleman. I can't just let him off. He didn't know who you were. Anyway, if you let him off, you'll show that you're the better man. I suppose you're right. Fuck him. <laughs> but we had some pretty good sports, eh? <laughs>